Hi, you guys. So I found out something that makes me want to change out a few things that I have in my first aid kit. And then I realized that I've never shown you my home first aid kit, which is in a tackle box. And I really like uh, the tackle box setup. And I've, I just want to show you this really quickly and then show you what I've learned and what I'm swapping out because you may want to swap out the same thing. For my cars, I have uh, the Adventure Medical Kits. Uh, this is an outdoor one, and this is all the things it has inside. Um, good stuff. It, this was, I think, a right around 100 bones. Um, I have another one for the Boat Marine Series. They're really not that much different. This is just a little smaller. It does not have a listing. Of what's inside and then I have just one of these ultralight uh, kits which I take when I go like backpacking or I need an ultralight um, situation um, I think these are great kits they do have a lot of stuff in them um, they open up like this and you really need to familiarize yourself with kits and then you can add whatever you want to them. So what I did is I just made uh, my own kit. I've done this for years. I used to uh, work in the medical field. I was uh, started out as a medical assistant and then I worked as a nurse, a nurse uh, back in the days when all you had to have was a doctor that was overseeing you and, and they would call you their office nurse even if you had no degree. Of course, that was in the 80s. Um, so the reason I like the tackle box is because I have sections here. Each section means uh, something to me, and then, of course, it flips up, and then I have more sections. So here in this section, I have a uh, triple antibiotic ointment, uh, the snake bite kit, um, some more triple antibiotic ointment tape, uh, stereo strips, band-aids, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I have a pair of glasses. I have some tools. And uh, over here I have medications. I've got aspirin. I have nitroglycerin and adrenaline. I have a bunch of antibiotics. I have some pain medication. Some meclizine for nausea, ibuprofen. You know, I've got Benadryl. Uh, I've just got a bunch of, bunch of stuff in here. As well as... Um, some needles, lidocaine, um, scalpels, oh, that's another medication that should go up there, uh, more diphenhydramine. Anyway, I've got just a lot of stuff and uh, IND kit and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so what am I changing out in here? So traditionally in um, the medical offices, we used this this is a uh, what is this brand derma bond and this is like uh, a glue this is a glue that if you have a superficial cut or one that doesn't need layered suturing and one that's not um, like a dog bite nothing that is poked into your skin a puncture wound you don't want to close those out we really need to have a professional clean that out any wound you really need to have cleaned out but the the uh, poking kind of wound, um, really, they go so deep that you really need to have a professional do that. No matter what, you wouldn't want to close it. So this is great, and, and um, we use this kind of stuff all the time. So I thought, oh, I'm going to buy some more of this. And guess what? 25 bucks. This is 25 bucks now. Yeah, no, thanks. Um, of course, it's well worth it, but what if you could find something cheaper? So a while ago, my husband started using superglue. So we got the name brand superglue because the knockoffs don't work very well. So we had a bunch of superglue, and he started using this. Now let me tell you what I just found out and why I'm trading this out. So superglue is not meant for medical use, but people use it all the time. But the problem with this stuff is, for one, unless it's your first and only time using this product, it's most likely not sterile. What I mean is we use super glue for everything, right? If you wanted to glue this together, you glue it together and then you close it. And then the next time you're using it on a cut, yeah, not a great idea. The second thing is that it's very brittle. 
So if you put it on a cut or somewhere where you're flexing a lot, it's going to break open and then, you know, super glue not really working very well because it's not meant to be bent. And thirdly, the chemicals in here can cause a reaction that burns the skin. Uh, when the it's like an epoxy, right? So when when um, the uh, stuff inside here is exposed to moisture and to air, it will create a thermophallic. Is that what it is? Reaction, and it can get very hot, and it can burn your skin. And of course, that's not uh, indicated for wound healing. So. I thought, geez, now I'm going to have to buy this $25 stuff. Ah, but then liquid skin. Liquid skin came to us. And let's see, I found a place on Amazon where you can buy four tubes of the stuff for $17, bucks, which makes it about $4.25 each. And uh, the reason why this package is open is because Mr. OSP is chronically cutting himself open. Um, in a variety of ways. So I've had him use it a few times and it does work. And it's actually, let's see, this one is open. Get the top off, which is on. And it's got just like a little uh, dispenser on it. Of course, when you're dispensing it, you don't want to touch it to the skin if you want to reuse it. It has several uses in it, but it's it has more in it. Can you see actually up here? It has quite a bit more in it than this little guy does, and it seems, in our opinion, to work as well. It uh, bent, he, last time he cut himself was with the angle grinder, and you know if you have an angle grinder, those things bite. Um, on his thumb, it was a nice clean cut. We went over the top of it, kept it together for, I don't know, 15 seconds, let it go, and it was fine. This stuff is waterproof. Like I said, it flexes. It doesn't burn and it lasts for about a week and then it will dissipate and you know unlike sutures you don't have to you don't have to have the stuff removed um, so this is what it looks like I'm gonna link where I got it below because you are going to want to use it um, so minor cuts of course Cracks and abrasions is also something else that I hadn't really thought about using liquid skin for. So if you have a place that's got a blister on it and the blister has popped, but you just need to cover that area up to keep it from re-blistering again, liquid skin. If your heel has cracked, you know, uh, especially ladies when you're wearing the high heels and you don't get a chance to moisturize your heels a lot, liquid skin. If you have um, some kind of other abrasion on your hand, liquid skin, and those stupid hangnails that you get, you know, and everything you do, you catch it on, and it just hurts like an SOB, liquid skin. So I think this is a good product. I am going to buy more of it. I'm removing the super glue, and I'm putting in my liquid skin. Of course, I will use this up. I have a, just a one or two more of these. And um, yeah, there you go. So my box is now fully stocked again. I'm ready to go. And there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, I'm going to link uh, where I got this stuff down below. And yeah, I think it's a good product. And it... You know, at a 425, it, it certainly beats this. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I am not a medical professional, although I was in the field for so long, I just picked up, picked up information uh, as we went along, especially in the post-op surgery world. So there you have it. Be safe. Have an emergency kit in your car, in all your cars in your uh, house. Another thing that I've started carrying is Narcan. Um, I keep it in my purse and I keep some in my car and actually I'll put this in this kit. Uh, for people that may be having a drug overdose, this stuff can save their lives. It um, counteracts opioids so it'll make it seem like as if they've never taken the opioid if they're overdosing. This particular one is a no spray. They do have injectables. Um, sometimes somebody needs more than one dose. 
Um, I've got a few of these around. I got them for free online. Um, in my area, I live near Portland, Oregon, so, you know, um, they're giving away these just to citizens to have in case you find somebody. And I have seen somebody overdose, so that would have been helpful to have, but I didn't have it. So that's my other new addition to my kit. So there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.